and Joy was hated by her class. You know, that last time they didn't even bother to show up, most of them. Including Vlad. I guess he got what he wanted, and that was why he, you know, helped her out that first time. And then the other teacher says, oh, they just keep telling me how much they love me. You know, again, selfish, vacuous, just completely only thinking about their own little world and situation, you know. The scene where Dr. Maplewood talks with his son and they get into all the details, I'm guessing that put a lot of people off. You know, this whole thing of father and son talking about I mean, once again, they're talking about sex, which is, I don't know, don't they, about three times? And that in itself is too much for some people. And then, that time, they're even talking about pedophilia and incest. At least he says that he wouldn't have sex with his own son, at the very least. But you can just, you can tell the pain, both of them, you know. I would also like to note, it. I really like that he was clearly a devoted father, you know. And much of the way a really good father. I like that you could interpret the child crying, I mean, he was tearing up through the conversation, but then the final thing, you know, would you ever fuck me? And he says no. You know, the... I suppose you could say the most straightforward interpretation. And some are going to say that it's the only one that makes sense, and if you think, if you think so, is that he's crying because, you know, his father actually is a pedophile, you know, as he's seen written on the proverbial wall. As all the other children in school said, you know, but the other interpretation that I also think is worth considering is that maybe it's a feeling of rejection. You know, why would you do something that can be seen as a gesture of love. You know, to a child, maybe, you know, rape could be considered. Why would you do that to my friends and not to me? You know, like he feels like his father doesn't love him as much. I also really like the scene at the dinner table with, you know, well, if she's a drug addict, I think she should be put away for life. You know, before I go into the effect that has on the father, just how judgmental. She's not dealing, she's not selling drugs to these children, okay? that would be disgusting, I admit. But if she herself has a drug problem, again, this woman is just so judgmental and presumptuous, you know. And once again, it's not that I think that that type of person is just awful. It's, once again, clear, you know. She doesn't like her own life, so she lashes out at others. You know, she... I 
think people who are happy aren't that concerned with judging others. Not unless it is impossible to sympathize with such as I would argue that murder and rape are murderers and rapists anyway the doctor's response you know that to see his wife be that judgmental just towards a drug addiction you know, and, and he tries to, you know, say, but, but, come on, isn't it, you know, there are worse, you know, and she just will not have any of it. And he tries to confide in her the night before, you know, he, he just, he wants that security of, you know, are you, would, would you still love me, you know, and, and then tries to say, I'm sick, and, you know, oh, just, you know, take a pill, it'll be over by morning, you know. And he didn't run from the police. And you have the, the Freudian slip, you know. You wanted to talk to me about Farber? I'm sorry, you said grassy, you know. I was a little surprised that he was still in the house, like, you know, the next day. I thought they had enough evidence. I mean, a serial rapist, child molest, wouldn't the police detain him, something? I mean, I don't know, maybe they didn't have DNA evidence by then, I, I, I don't know how long those tests take. I felt that the portrayal of Alan was very credible, you know, he wants to do this, you know, he's maybe kind of obsessed with sex, you know, and it's all these women that he can't have because he's too afraid, too shy, he's not that good at the social game, and when he has the chance, even with the woman of streams, you know, he just can't quite, I mean, that, that it was tragicomic, that shot of them on the couch, as far apart as they could be, and slowly his hand moves towards, I mean, I didn't count, but did that maybe take a whole minute from, you know, for his hand to almost touch her, and then she just, we're not going to do this, you know, this isn't going to work out, you know. And she cruelly passes him on to Joy. I don't even know if that would really, if she would recognize his voice over the phone. And the child, I don't remember his name, the doctor's son, not the little Quick note on the little one, I do think it is just pitch perfect the way the one time we see Timmy have, you know, an emotional reaction and not just be, you know, a spoilt brat, is when his Tamagotchi dies. You know, he's feeling sorrow for the death of something that was never alive at all, you know. 
not a pet. It's not... It's, you know... And don't get me wrong, I'm not judging someone for enjoying the electronic mediums. No, hello, I'm appearing on a camera. There's a Wii to the right of me. You know. Anyway, the son, the other son, you know, his obsession with coming, you know. And then finally he does, and just the disgusting, the dog licks it up, and then licks the face. I didn't need that. I didn't need to ever see that. I didn't, Todd. I really didn't. I suppose that's more or less the entire... About Alan, I liked his faking having watched the playoffs, or it was some sport thing. I'm pretty sure he didn't watch, you know, the, the game, the match. And he probably didn't even know what sport they were talking about. And just... The other guy starts out saying, Did you see the playoffs last night? And he, Alan just responds, Yeah, that was awesome. The other guy says, I was on my knees praying during that shot. Nice that you and your religion are so... Anyway. And Alan just responds, it worked! And then the guy leaves. That was perfect. That was one of the funniest bits of this because it's so... You know, you don't even have to mention the sport. And it doesn't even matter if what you're saying has any real meaning. You know, it's just... It's some sport. It was a good match. It was an important one. And somebody made a shot that was difficult. And that's it. You know. And it shows the often very superficial way men relate to one another. You know, because we don't want to be gay. I think that's all... If there was something in the movie that I didn't talk about here that you would like to hear my opinion on, please write it below. You can write it above, but I probably won't be able to read it because if you're writing above, you're probably typing in the address bar and that isn't gonna... Hopefully you already know that. Anyway, those were my thoughts on happiness. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.